In the early 2000s, Tom Cruise was Hollywood's biggest star. His roles paid him $25 million, plus a percentage of the film's proceeds. Some studios would convince him to settle for just 10%, while others would pay him 20%, or even as much as 30%. The only person who posed any competition to him in this matter was Will Smith, who was paid $20 million and a percentage of the proceeds. Such contracts allowed Tom Cruise to earn $50 million even for small films like Jerry Maguire. And since the studios also made good profits from distributing his films, they long complied with his requests. However, Tom Cruise's run of good luck ended in 2006 with the release of Mission Impossible 3. Tom Cruise's only box office failure between 1990 and 2006 was Vanilla Sky, released in 2001. For his role, Cruz received $20 million plus 30% of the film's revenue. Vanilla Sky did not perform well at the box office and left Paramount Pictures disappointed with Tom Cruise. It took the studio a long five years to start the third Mission Impossible film, which they owned the rights to. The reason was that Tom Cruise wanted an even bigger paycheck for the sequel to the box office hit than he did for the original project. Negotiations with Tom Cruise's production company were challenging. The actor refused to appear in the third installment for a fixed fee alone. In the end, the studio accepted his terms, remembering the $550 million earned from the sequel. The studio hoped that the third film would earn them roughly the same amount, which would be enough to satisfy both parties. Paramount paid Tom Cruise $25 million and promised another $50 million from box office profits, What's interesting is that Tom Cruise had to be the first to get the money. In other words, the film's box office earnings first went to Tom Cruise's wallet, and the studio could not start making money until he got his $50 million. Everything would be fine if the film had made its projected $550 million. But things didn't go as planned. The box office gross for Mission Impossible 3 was only $390 million. This remains the franchise's worst box office performance to date. For the studio, it was a disaster. It allocated $150 million for the film's production and an extra $75 million for marketing. Paramount needed at least $450 million to cover its expenses. However, not only did the studio make just $195 million on a $225 million film, but it also had to give Tom Cruise $50 million of that money. That is, the studio didn't make any profit from the film's distribution. On the contrary, it lost almost a hundred million dollars. Covering such an amount is difficult, even with strong home video sales. Paramount Pictures was so frustrated that they terminated their contract with Tom Cruise, blaming him for the poor box office results. The same year the film was released, the actor became the center of attention for a scandal regarding his public behavior. According to the studio, the actor not only stole $50 million from them, but also made the already bad situation worse with his behavior. After the scandal, Cruz and his production company, Cruz slash Wagner Productions, were left to their own devices and tried to revive the once prominent Hollywood studio, United Artists. However, the actor's run of bad luck didn't allow him to do so. All of the projects he worked on for the studio failed or showed only average results. In the four years following the release of the third Mission Impossible, the actor's career took a nosedive, with his films earning less and less money, and his fees dropping significantly. Nobody paid him a percentage of box office receipts anymore. As a result, in 2011, Cruz returned to Paramount Pictures, asking them for another chance. To save his career, the actor needed a hit, and the simplest way to get one was to make the fourth Mission Impossible film. At the time, Paramount was also going through hard times. The only franchise they had any success with was Transformers, but they had to share their profits with the toy manufacturer. The studio agreed to work with Cruise, but only on its terms. The actor was paid only $12 million and promised 5% of the profits from the future film. And this time they agreed that Tom Cruise would only receive his percentage if the movie broke even and started making a profit. Mission Impossible Ghost Protocol grossed $694 million against a $145 million budget. Everyone came out as a winner. Well, almost everyone. 
The loser, once again, was Jeremy Renner. Paramount planned to reboot the franchise with Renner as the lead, if the fourth movie didn't do well at the box office. The studio made an official statement about their decision, which is why Renner accepted the role. However, Ghost Protocol was a huge success, and the studio's relationship with Cruz quickly improved. After that, Paramount was already too scared to fund a film starring Renner. Another time Renner lost was when he tried to replace Matt Damon in the Bourne franchise. That attempt was not very successful either. Thanks so much for watching, subscribe, and stay tuned.